Hey everyone, it's time for some Thor Love and Thunder pitch meeting. Let's go. So, you have a new Thor movie for me? Yes, yes sir, sir, I, I do. do. Let me tell you, he's dumber than ever. Oh, okay. Yeah, just real. He's not. <laughs> just, just right off the bat. <laughs> okay. You're not wrong. <laughs> smart at all this guy all right well i can't uh, wait to see him team up with the guardians of the galaxy you know we kind of ended uh, endgame with them just, taking just like off onto adventure minutes. together oh yeah and let me tell you sir the guardians of the galaxy are gonna be in this oh boy yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just ever so briefly what so we're gonna meet yeah. this guy gore right and all his people have died and his daughter too even though he's been praying to their god okay and yeah. then he meets his god who it turns out is a big old jerk and then he gets chosen by the necro sword and kills the god oh wow 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 wow, wow. Yeah, so wow. now Gore has become the God Butcher, and he's just gonna go on a rampage. He wants all gods to die. Why? Well, he thinks- <laughs> Yeah, why? I think I just realized my camera's a little crooked. Okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> They're all selfish and they only care about themselves. Dang, well, it's gonna be crazy to see him going around butchering gods. Oh, yeah, except oh, yeah, no, that is gonna be happening gonna... off screen. Yeah, but... yeah. He's the God Butcher. Yeah, so he's off. Yeah. He's off doing that. We're not gonna see that. I would like to see it. Yeah, I would have liked to see it. Anyway, too, so then we're gonna meet honest. up with Jane Foster. And what's going on with her? Well, she has stage four terminal cancer. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah. yeah, but don't worry, sir. Everything's still gonna be hilarious all the time. That's that. That wasn't my concern. Still yeah. plenty of jokes per minute, sir. Don't even worry about it. Right. Okay. Maybe there shouldn't be <laughs> yeah. in some parts. We're gonna be cruising at a furious JPM. Oh, all right. You know those yeah, screaming okay. goat videos from the internet. From like from like ten years ago, yeah. Yeah, we're bringing that and a bunch of screaming goats the whole time. All right, I mean that was really funny ten years ago. I guess it might I still know, be funny okay. now. Well, I hope you do like it, sir, because if it doesn't land the first time, it's certainly not going to land the next seven. Wow. Well, gee. Uh, so yeah, anyway, geez. Thor finds out from They're Sith that Gore is long. butchering all these gods in amazing ways that I'm never going to show you, and he's on his way to New Asgard next. Oh no. Yeah, New yeah. Asgard has become like super touristy. Like they have an ice cream shop called the Infinity Cones. It has like an infinity gauntlet theme that kind of seems like it's in poor taste no it tastes yeah, fantastic no. i mean it's ice cream no, i yeah. mean the infinity gauntlet was used in like a worldwide tragedy that's kind of messed up for a theme yeah nothing yeah. a little ice cream can't solve that's a good point yeah okay so thor shows up to new asgard <laughs> and he sees that jane is now also a thor what do you mean well turns out back when they were dating thor had asked mjolnir to protect jane so that's what he's doing here wow well it's gonna be cool to see her transform for the first time yeah, yeah except no that's off screen that. that's yeah, off screen too okay well, all right yeah. dang it so anyway now she There's has this super cool Thor stuff. outfit, because that's what happens to you when you wield Mjolnir. That didn't happen that to Captain cap, America yeah, when he had it. Hey, shut up, and so then Gore hey, steals all these children and runs away. Hey, shut up, man. I'm sorry, I'm pausing. I just freaking love Ryan, dude. It's been a while. <laughs> Oh, super rude. And so his plan is to lure Thor because he just knows he's going to come to the rescue of these kids. He believes that all gods are selfish and only care about themselves. So his plan is to capture people that they care about because. That's a very good point. <laughs> they would definitely come help them. I Yes. Well, okay then. Yeah, so Thor okay. goes to the city where a bunch of gods live, including Zeus, and he tries to get them to help, but they're all scared of Gore. Oh man, all these gods in one place? That's the perfect setup for a Gore yeah. the Butcher attack scene. Oh, you know it, sir. But no. Anyway. anyway. Oh, so then they impale <laughs> Zeus with his own thunderbolt and steal it and run away. Oh, impaling oh people and stealing their belongings is tight. Oh my god. Oh, that won't hold god. up in court, by the way. That wasn't an official admission of guilt or confession. All right, so then they go fight <laughs> Gore and he steals Stormbreaker. Why? Well, it turns yeah. out that Stormbreaker is the key to the realm of eternity, where eternity will grant one person one wish. Oh, what's up? Yeah. It just seems like maybe it would have been easier for Thanos to just go there instead of trying to gather all the Infinity Stones. I didn't think about Thanos when that was going on, but that's, that's a fair point. Yeah. Or for the Avengers to go there for that matter instead of inventing time travel. Yeah, well, see, the thing yeah. is, I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back about previous... Yeah. Okay, that's... that's... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah... Yeah. Marvel yeah. movies. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. Oh, thank 
you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so yeah, does Thor yeah. just summon Stormbreaker back? That's a thing he can do, right? Yeah, no, I guess it's not within his summoning range. He needs to change service provider. Uh, and then they oh find out God. that Mjolnir is actually draining Jane's life force. So if she uses it again, she'll die. I thought Mjolnir was protecting her. Now it's killing her? Yes. Yeah, sting it, Mjolnir. Yeah. <laughs> so Thor is like, all right, well, Jane, you can't come fight with me. And also Valkyrie got stabbed and Korg is just a face. He lost his body. Man, well, it's going to be hard for Thor to fight Gore on his own. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, he's not going to be alone, actually. What do you mean? Well, he lends his Thor powers to all the kids, which is a thing he can do now. So they all uh, fight really? Gore and his monsters. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and so then our hero, you know, the guy with the army of child soldiers, attacks the bad guy who's, you know, the guy who thinks gods should be nicer to people. That's, uh, mm, I don't know, maybe don't phrase yeah. it that way. Right, okay, the good guy fights the bad guy. Yeah, there definitely go, keep it better. vague. Yeah. That sounds better. Anyway, then Jane shows up to help, too. But she'll die. She yeah. does. Yeah, but then Gore is so moved by their love when he makes his wish, he doesn't wish for all gods to die. What does he wish for? He wishes for his daughter to come back to life, but then he dies, so Thor kind of has a daughter now. Very cute. And Korg okay. has his body back and he falls in love. How did he get his body back? I don't know, and Unclear. so that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, but do you think maybe we're going a little too hard on the Marvel humor? Sir, it's impossible to lean too hard on the Marvel humor. Trust me. Thor Love and Thunder has one of the MCU's worst Rotten Tomato scores. I'll get my thought on that in a second. I'm going to check if there's anything at the end of the, end of the video. Hi everybody, it's Ryan here. Thanks for What's watching that video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the please uh, comment. Please like, click like, subscribe, uh, share. Also share, click like, comment, subscribe, like, comment down below. Anyway, that's it for me. Don't forget to click and... Uh, Comment like. You good, Ryan? Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> and like. Okay, so yeah, there was, I feel like there was way too much humor in the film for the story they were going with. Going against uh, Gore, the, the god butcher of all villains for Thor. Like, he's literally going around murdering gods. Yeah, it was off screen, but still. And hey, everyone, uh, this is me editing the video at the moment. Uh, I just want to give everyone a heads up who's still watching the video that uh, this uh, this the rest of the video is just me giving my thoughts on Thor the character in the movie. So if you're still interested in hearing my thoughts, go ahead and continue watching the rest of the video. I just want to give you a heads up that that's basically the rest of the video. So hope you all enjoyed and yeah, yeah, there was just way too much humor in the movie to be honest. Like to me, I still enjoyed it. Like I don't think it was that bad. The one of the things that was was very distasteful was the whole Infinity Gauntlet. Like if anything, they could have had the um, the Iron the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. Like they could have had that because the Iron the Iron Gauntlet like that one was used to bring back the people from the horrible event that happened in Infinity War. <laughs> they could have went that route, you know, but instead they went with just the regular Infinity Gauntlet. And yeah, that was definitely for MCU movie place that was in bad taste. I'm very surprised on how big of a negative response it got with some people where it bothered them that badly i mean it's just a movie you know but it was very distasteful i will say i am um um you're not wrong there the whole thing with thor just being a idiot most of the time of the film in my personal opinion thor is one of is probably the character in the mcu that's dealt with the most loss like all the way back from his first appearance in the first film he he basically thinks he'll never see jane again in the first one and then his brother uh you know loki ends up betraying him and asgard and like tries to kill him and everything so it's like his brother hates him basically you know and and then the second one he thinks he um he thinks loki died when loki faked his death he loses his mother in the second film. Um, his mother gets killed, sacrificing herself to protect Jane. Um, the third one, his father dies. You know, his father dies in the third one. Um, he loses his his kingdom, his homeland. You know, where he's he's originally from. Uh, and then his hammer gets destroyed. You know. And then in a. Uh, in Avengers Infinity War, Loki gets killed, and right in front of him. Loki gets killed, his neck gets snapped by Thanos. 
you know so it's like he loses he's lo and then uh heimdall his best friend um gets killed as well you know he's losing everyone he cares about and i can't help but feel like if in general like he's losing these people everyone he cares about one after the other and then even like seeing how tony sacrificed himself and uh, for the greater good and then cap kind of like went into retirement he's officially an old man now they haven't even confirmed if cap is actually dead now or not because it's so old but the fact that uh i feel like thor has lost so much that i can't help but feel like thor acts like the way he does especially in the last thor movie like just being a goofball you know just being an idiot at times i can't help but feel like he does this in a way to repel against the trauma he's been through you know, there's that moment that he has with Rocket in Infinity War where they're on their way to go get Stormbreaker created. And Thor is telling Rocket about everything he's been through. And it's kind of crazy. He even, he even cries a little bit, you know? He, 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 he like a tear comes down and he wipes it, and wipes it away. Like, it's, it's pretty crazy, you know? Like, it's crazy to think about for me to be honest like me being a fan of the mcu thor like i wish he wouldn't act like such a goofball like such an idiot at times like i was hoping he would have acted more serious like the only time i feel like we actually got him to be serious was in the end when he's holding uh jane before she dies and he's even telling gore that like why would i want to spend my last minute fighting you when i could be with her the woman i love you know like right before she dies you know so I don't know. I, I went on a bit of a rant there. I apologize, but I just wanted to get my thoughts on Thor's character in the MCU thus far, on why I feel like he's act, he acts like such a goofball. But let me know in the comments down below what you all thought of the pitch meeting. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really help me out. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to go support uh, the pitch meeting. Uh, Ryan is absolutely hilarious. I miss reacting to these, and I'll see you all in the next one. Right up here will be a, a link to all the pitch meetings I've acted to so far. Right over here will be my recommended video.